Yeah, hi there and welcome back and let us continue with our lecture and today let's go and see about the another operator which is of interval operator in Rx Java. So let's go and continue and let us create our function over here that returns the observable of uh, let's create a function and this should return an interval it's an interval interval operator interval operator and return type is of the observable that we want to return and uh, the type uh, let us check off later what type is the return type and i want to return the observable over from here observable dot uh, interval so let me return type and if you go to the implementation then we can check for the uh, it's from here interval from reactive x extension so or here it's also the same thing so if you go over here the return type is of long so i think we implement that one over here it's the return type is of long and go over here it takes the long initial delay and the period so it's on the time unit so the first the initial delay the initial delay time to be uh where is the initial delay the long period over here and the time util so we need to pass actually a three argument but uh let's let's take a focus on the period and the unit so uh initial delay the initial delay time if you want to delay our initial time to wait before emitting the first value so if you want to wait for a certain time to uh emit the value then you can provide the first argument and the second is a period the period of time between each um, uh, emission of the subsequent number so let's say you emit a first value and the second value at, at what uh, time interval you want to uh, emit those values let's say uh, one second one hour one day so depend on that one at a time sequence that you want to uh, each interval is emitted a value and the unit the time the time unit for both whether it's a, a day hour or minute or millisecond all of those if you take a look return return an observable that emits the code of after the interval delay and every increasing number after each period of time is thereafter so which means that it will emit a value after the initial delay and then it will sequentially uh, pause for the certain uh, millisecond and then again execute the another uh, or the emit the another value so let's go and uh, implement and let us see in a practical way. So the first value, thus, uh, there is periodically three value that we have to pass over here. Uh, if you take a look over here, uh, we have a three value over here passed. But uh, let's uh, let us try to uh, let us let us go and pass the two value first. One is a period and one is of the time unit. So I want to emit uh, at least on uh, one first or once uh, let us use a uh, one second so i say time unit we have a time in second millisecond day hour so let's make use of a time unit of a second and then uh, which means that this is interval is emitting or uh, is emitting some uh, let's say it's emitting uh, uh, after one second take a look period is of one second so after one second it's continuously emitting a uh, value right so if we go and now let us try to implement this one so i will just comment out uh, this one because we are not going to use it anymore and then uh, i will go and say that the int interval operator that i need to subscribe that one and inside this subscribing uh, i will just implement, just copy this one i don't have to rewrite okay so you we are receiving a long and you will see that what they have value so let's try to run and let us see what it actually does if you go to the log cat uh, now let us go and see on next zero one so every second it's trying to emit the value you can see and it's continuously emitting and it's not going to stop because we don't have uh, any implementation that will go and stop this emission or the the value is emitting so we haven't provide any any option that it should stop because we said that just on the interval you just go and emit every one second you just go and emit a value it's just go it will just go and emit a value continuously it's, there is a no point to stop until and unless you stop or you exit your app or you kill your app so if you go to the uh, application it's running over here which is of this one 
and even you close uh, you go back then still that value is got emitting and until then unless i think we have to the app is running over here the r is our basic so let me try to close that one then when your app is closed or it's completely gone off out of this stack then you got stop so if you try to increase this value let's say every two second right every two seconds that you want to emit a value and when that value is emit every second that you want to perform some tasks is uh, really helpful because whenever you receive some uh, value uh, let's say you receive uh, every second you receive some um, every second you want to trigger some function or you want to call some uh, code in the background so it's really useful over here so what i will do is i'll create a one a one function over here so let me create a private function and i'll just say get location so i, I want to get a location every minute so let me just go and lock the d uh, sorry log d and i'll just say tag and here i'll just print out the location or uh, let's say l a l a t i t u the latitude which is of let's say one zero two dot da, 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 da. and then we have another one is a uh, latitude and l o n g i t u the long uh, long l o n g i t u the longitude and the value of each of one dot da, 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 da. okay so we want to print out this one so let's say every every second or every two seconds we want to call this function all right so i'll go over here and i will call that function every every two seconds because we have changes to the two seconds so every two seconds i want to go and execute this function that's really helpful so until and unless my uh, app got killed i want to call this function every two seconds in normally in android application you have to make yourself uh, some uh, some different code you have to write the the different a uh, lot of code is involved there if you want to do the same tags right so if if you have been familiar with it if you want to do the same thing like let's say if you want to uh, create or if you want to run a task every time every two seconds or every five seconds you have to make use of uh, trading cre uh, create create uh, uh, different uh, implement different things right so that that's not the case over here you, you can see that how easy it's to create the interval i just create an interval over here and i have a, a really good over here that every time i call it and i can also handle an error right uh, so this is really easy and really useful because uh, it's quite helpful for the android developer sometimes you want to run a different code on every second And instead of creating a service or instead of creating a different trade so all of this uh, can be eliminated using the rx server using the interval and now if i go and run this code and i should be able to call that function every second so let us wait now every two seconds it's going to call right so if every two seconds it's going to call that particular function for us so that's great and uh, let's see how to stop it so how do we stop this particular so let's let's see how we can stop because it's going to run until and unless so let's say you have some uh, requirement that after after two times of execution or, or after the 10 times of execution you want to stop this particular interval so how we can do is that i can say that take while so i have an option we have an option of take while and this take while we get, get a um, let us implement take while and sorry i can clear it out this one take while and here i get the id of long so i will just say this of a value i'll make use of lambda expression while the take while the value and i will just say the value uh, each of uh, real value each of less than less less than or equals to less say, of the 10 so when the value is of we get a value over here if if the value reads us as the less than the 10 then we are actually going to stop that particular this observable so we we will stop or we will call on complete after the uh, 10 emission of this particular interval so let's go and run our application and let's go to the lock cat over here and uh, let us go and check so it should be after the 10 times so 0 1 and let's wait for the 10 time and you can see over here that after the 10 
the value is 10 it called the uncomplete because after 10 we said that after if it is less than 10 then just go and um, just go and call the uncomplete because we don't want to observe it after the value is at 10 so that's how we are going to stop it otherwise it will go and run until your app is got killed and uh, let us also see about the initial delay because it's taking a three parameter we just take a look on the two parameter for now the initial delay so let's make use of initial delay and i'll just say after initial delay is of five five second right and then we after each then every one second then we want to continue so after five seconds is the initial delay so let us run out the application and let's go to the log can so we will see that after five seconds then we should get the first emission over here so just wait okay yeah we got it and if you take a look over here i think this is the first over here this is the first emission after five seconds we say that the delay 45 seconds for the first emission so i hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day